This is not a test. This is your emergency broadcast system announcing the commencement of the annual purge, sanctioned by the US government. Weapons of class 4 and lower have been authorised for use during the purge. All other weapons are restricted. Government officials of ranking 10 have been granted immunity from the purge and shall not be harmed. Commencing at the siren, any and all crime, including murder, will be legal for 12 continuous hours. Police, fire and emergency medical services will be unavailable until tomorrow morning at 7am when the purge concludes. Blessed be our new founding fathers and America, a nation reborn. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am the Statue of Liberty as you can see. Um, so today's makeup look is going to be a purge inspired makeup look and I changed my idea last minute. I was going to be doing the first purge, you know the one where like they're wearing the creepy masks and they're like knocking on their neighbour's door. But then I changed my mind last minute, like literally last minute. I was in the bathroom getting some stuff ready and I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna go and do Lady Liberty. So um, I've actually done this makeup look before. I'll like pop an image somewhere if I can so you can see. Um, I really did like that look. I still do like that look, um, but it's just really fun to create. <laughs> I just wanted to have a little play around with some neon pigments and neon liners and um, I've also got like a neon light so I'm gonna try at the end when I finish the makeup turn off all the lights and just have this light on and it should make all my makeup glow in the dark also I wanted to do another Lady Liberty look because I bought this headpiece like a few years ago for my last purge look and I haven't worn it since because in all fairness, when would I ever need to wear this? But... <coughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what we're doing today. So if you're interested to see how I create my Lady Liberty Purge makeup look, then please keep on watching. Let's start, shall we? I need to get some reference photos up first. That would be a good idea. So I'm just going to go and block my brows now. I'm thinking of doing like a in-depth like Instagram video on how to block my brows because I used to struggle, like I used to really struggle with blocking my brows and I've tried different products, different techniques. So let me know if that's something you would like to see. Okay, so now my brows are glued down, blocked, covered, hidden away, hidden away for the duration of this video. Um, I'm ready to start on the actual makeup and first of all I'm gonna go in with, you guessed it, Mayron Paradise Paints. So this is the shade Storm Cloud. So these are water activated paints. So I've just got a little small um, paintbrush. This is the kind of one I use. So just dip in my brush in a little bit of water and swirl in that round in the paint. You don't want too much water but you also don't want the, the paint to be dry because then it will crack and we don't want that to happen. Oop. Beautiful. Just trying to make it as symmetrical as possible as well. But it doesn't matter too much. But I don't know. I'm just a bit of a perfectionist, I guess. I'm going to start filling in my face with paint and a big fluffy brush so again dipping it in water swirling around this is always my favorite thing watch this now okay here's my brow it's gone <laughs> ready 
Ooh, there's a moth flying above my camera. I'm scared of moths. I'm just gonna continue painting my face and pretend I didn't see that. Who has watched The Haunted and Bly Manor and what were your thoughts? No spoilers here, but I finished watching it. Um, I'm confused. I'm going to rewatch the whole season again. I did enjoy it, but I'm just a bit confused. And has anyone read the book and watched the season? And if so, how does the series match up to the book. I did notice a lot of references to Hill House which I enjoyed. Oh my gosh, Hill House by the way is probably one of my favourite um, TV series ever but I also felt the same when I watched Hill House. When I first watched Hill House I wasn't the biggest fan. I was like what is all this fuss about? I don't get it. But I rewatched it. Eventually like I, I got it. I got the the hype about it okay and I feel like Blind Manor might be the same I might have to re-watch it a few times before like you know I feel something so that's what I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do is start to add some highlights in so again I'm going in white paradise paint big fluffy brush boom I'm basically gonna treat it like contouring so if there was light on my face it would hit by here right and then I've also got my um, grey brush here just to like soften the edges and blend that white in I haven't put any more paint on this brush I'm just using the excess of what was already on there and just very lightly in circular motions just blending in that white paint into the grey so obviously I'm going to do the same on the other side I'm going to add some highlight now on my forehead, just kind of in the middle um, and just on the top where the brow was as well. For the nose, I'm also going to highlight. Okay, so I think I'm done for now on the highlights, but I just realized, like, the mask covers up the mouse, and I've just left my lips out. So I'm gonna paint over them with some gray. Oh, it tickles, we've done the highlights, so now it's time to move on to the shadows. So I'm going to be using my sugar pill palette um, the shade bulletproof which is this black right here I'm just taking a little flat brush this is from BH cosmetics doesn't matter which one you use though this is just the one I happen to be using so I'm just ever so gently patting some of that black shadow just along the line 
towards the top of the mask. So also these corners of the mask, because if I'm looking straight on, these corners by here should be the darkest because they're, they're further back. Um, so these should be the, the darkest points, okay? So we've highlighted the front by the brow, but now I'm going to be just adding some shadow towards the back, just by here. I'm gonna add some shadow just with there as well and if you can see that kind of by adding that shadow there the eye kind of sinks back further and it brings the cheekbone and the forehead out further as well so again it's all just adding the shadows and the highlights in the right place to create an illusion. We want it to look like I'm wearing a mask. So I'm taking a fluffy brush now and some black shadow and just popping that right on the tip of my nose. So the mask looks like the nose is quite like straight, like very narrow, there's no kind of curves or I don't know, in the nose it's just kind of boop. So I'm trying to contour my nose slightly in the same way. Okay, I think that's where I'm gonna leave it with the nose contour because it's gone a bit darker than I hoped but it's okay it's okay it's okay it's fine it's gonna be fine um but what I am going to do is sort of exaggerate these smile lines they're like cheek bags you know not eye bags cheek bags so I'm gonna exaggerate my cheek bags that's what I'm gonna do right up here when it meets the nose is where we want the most amount of depth okay so I'm patting that shadow and then just bringing that up so when I smile again now you can see a bit of a difference where I have added shadow to this side of the face, but I'm not, not on this side. Um, so personally, I just think, again, it just creates more dimension to the face. It brings out the cheekbones, brings out the nose. Same goes for the chin. I'm taking my fluffy brush again, and I'm just going to add some shadow just to curve the chin more. I'm also going to give myself some cheekbones, why not? It's just under where I highlighted earlier. Just putting in a little bit of black shadow. And blending that upwards. So just to add some texture and um, like scratch effects on the mask now, I've got this textured sponge, I've just dipped it in some white paint and where I've added the highlights to, I'm just going to kind of dab this just over top and can you see like it's just created that texture there and that is what I want and what you can also do when the paint is a little bit drier is kind of pull the sponge um, so it looks 
like scratches. I mean, at the end of the day, it's a purge. Lady, Lady Liberty is out on the street, you know, committing acts of crime. So her, her mask will probably be scratched to some extent. You don't want it to look too neat either, like it's it's just been perfectly placed. So just kind of, even just little speckles here and there, like, boom, you know? I'm gonna get some black paint, and um, yes, it's Mayron, yes, it's Paradise Paint again. You guys know me too well. I'm just gonna paint. We my natural creases just slightly above there oh my gosh when I'm concentrating I breathe really heavily I breathe I'm quite a heavy breather anyway but when I'm concentrating I forget to breathe and then I remember and I'm like <sighs> wow this looks like how I used to wear my eyeliner when I was in school <laughs> I really do look like a creepy version of the mirror from Snow White. <laughs> so now I've done the eye socket. I'm going to move on now to do, ooh, this is the fun part. <laughs> I'm going to move on now to add in some of the fake blood. And I was trying to think of how I could do this because I do have fake blood that I could just splatter across the face. But when you look at the photos, the green is neon and the blood is kind of neon as well. Ooh, that's cool. So I thought what I would try, I don't know if it's gonna work, but I'm gonna give it a try. Um, is use some red face paint, but I'm also going to mix in some of this neon pink um, shade. This is the Super Beauty Hydra Liner in the shade Scrunchy. So this will pick up on um, like a black light as well. Um, for the green, I will be using another one of Super Beauty's Hydra Liners. This is in the shade Fanny Pack. So um, I have tried these before into black light and they do show up. So I'm hoping if I can mix this in with some red. Um, and kind of place it over the face it will stand out if I put a black light on that's what I'm hoping anyway so let's give it a go Watch a drip, ready? That is what I wanted. I hate it when it's like too watery and it's just like, and because I've got water activated paint underneath as well, I didn't want it to like remove the gray paint. But no, that, that is, I'm happy with that. So I'm gonna see if I could do another drop. Just next to it. It's time to add the green, baby. So taking a fair amount of that on my brush, and da, da, da. oh this is so exciting okay so i'm going to she's got some neon on her nose so i'm gonna paint a line just around the nose i'm starting from about here Bringing that line up across the eye and then up to the corner up here and again you can make this a little bit messy so there's a few lines going up and then just doing the same in the opposite direction. I 
I'm still yet to watch the Purge series on Amazon. Um, I'm pretty sure I've seen all the Purge films. Is there a new Purge film coming out? I can't remember. Who has watched the series? Is there any good? Um, I've seen quite a few people say they preferred it over the films. Once the green has dried, I'm going to go over with some white paint and just highlight over the green ever so slightly to make it stand out a little bit more. I'm going back in with my white face paint and a little brush and I'm going to just add small little lines by the green. To make it pop a little bit more So I just had another idea. Boom, full of ideas, me. I have neon pigments from Unicorn Cosmetics. Okay, this one is bright green. And I thought I would, on top of having the green, the neon green eyeliner, I would put the neon green pigment on top of the white paint. Is this brush clean? Yes. So I'm taking a wee bit of that pigment. Wow. And I'm just packing it on top of the white lines I just added. I really do like neon colours in makeup. I don't use neon enough. Maybe I should do a look with like all neon pigments. That would be cool. Can you see like what a difference I made? If I close my eyes, look at the eyes and the nose compared to the mouth. Oh, I'm so excited to see how this looks with the lights off. I think I'm done with the makeup. So, I'm going to go put on a wig, put my Lady Liberty headdress back on, change my top, grab my lights, and we'll see how the look turns out. So that is it for the tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed watching. Feel free to tag me in your recreations of this look if you do any. I'd love to see them. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.